So we've been able to follow growth of nano crystal in real time and been able to control the position of each new atomic layer and explain why the position there as they do. Uh, well, one of the most central questions in material science is to understand why atoms will arrange in the way they do and why crystals will form the way they do. Uh, and for the types of materials we're looking at, um, we have seen for some years that they can actually have different atomic arrangements. And we know we can control them, uh, but we don't know why and we don't understand uh, what conditions would be used to form them. So nanowires, they, the nanowires we've been looking at here are semiconductor nanowires. And the bulk crystal doesn't always form in nanowires. They have a different crystal structure. And this has not been really solved why for a long time. There's been some theoretical papers trying to explain it. But now you can see why they grow, why they get different structures. And try to explain and prove some of those theoretical papers correct and some wrong. Uh, well, we always want our, our personal electronics, our computers, our cell phones uh, to run better and faster, more efficiently all the time. Uh, and to do this, we need to actually be able to improve the technology that goes into them. Um, and all of the technology that goes into these today depends on making uh, better and more advanced materials, which means we have to control the materials and we have to design the properties of the materials that are going into, yeah, for example, our computers and our cell phones, other personal electronics. Um, so now by understanding, as we do, how to form different crystal structures, uh, we can actually produce better materials that are going to form the foundations for these, yeah, for these devices in the future.